you're this perp back with another video i just got out of watching bob marley one love and i gotta say man people really showed up to this movie like my theater was packed you had um a bunch of different types of people black white everything mixed you know what i'm saying and what i noticed by looking at the theater though it's a lot of older people you know what i'm saying like that came out to see this movie now this is about bob marley not his whole entire story which for you to tell bob's whole story you would need like a whole like little series or something like that this movie is only like an hour and 50 minutes or 45 minutes which i wish it was a little bit longer that's one thing leaving the theater i wish it was a little bit longer because this could have definitely gotten the ray treatment where ray we got to see so much in depth in his life and this just kind of focuses on one part of his life you know what i'm saying and i like the setup the setup of just explaining the state of jamaica at the time where bob was really popular and there was a civil war going on in jamaica so there's these two political parties just going at each other and it's very violent very chaotic and bob wants to kind of throw this peace uh concert completely free and he wants to bring these two um parties together so jamaica could be united and i really like kingsley's portrayal of bob in this because we have these people that are activists or you know just huge figureheads over time hi historical icons and my whole thing while watching this and you can definitely see it in kingsley's portrayal of bob is how concerned he really was about his people and never thought that the violence would ever come to his doorstep where very early in the film he gets shot you know uh his wife takes a bullet in the head survives thank god you know and that that was just such a that's such a moment in somebody's life where you see your life flash before your eyes and it really changes you and that whole moment changed bob and why he ended up leaving jamaica for a few years and then coming back um it's just really fascinating because it always makes me wonder like what if he never did that you know what if, what if like certain people that make these moves or do things for change never really fought for change or they just kind of took a step back would they still be iconic to this day or would their message be able to get across and just a lot to kind of dissect in this and i really like that we get to see a different a lot of different aspects of bob in this movie as far as like his relationship with him and his wife and how long they've been together since they were young and seeing um bob in his early days and you know what kind of gotten got him into just being rastafarian and that whole culture in jamaica and stuff that was really dope to see and even seeing some of the dark side of Bob a little bit where the fame kind of gets to him and, you know, you got people jerking him around for money and, you know, him clashing with his wife. And that was such a great scene. Lashonda Lynch, like, I don't know when she got that thick, but goddamn, bro. I was just like, yo, I don't know if that's CG or she wearing like uh, butt pads or some shit that I don't remember her uh, like being that thick though, but she did an incredible job as well. I could definitely see this movie being considered for an Oscar, you know, the next Oscars or something like that. Because I think the performances were really well done. I think Kingsley, even though he is a British dude playing Jamaican, I think he really does capture a lot of Bob's mannerisms and just does his best to just really get that across to the audience and whatnot that was really this was a really good movie despite it feeling very short and i feel like it could have used another like 30 minutes i'd have been cool with like it like closing on in three hours just because i feel like there's so much to kind of 
pick apart or just take from Bob Marley as a character or just just a person that an hour and 50 50 minutes is not enough you know that's just my only gripe about this movie other than that I I feel like they did a good job performances were well done music choices really dope I really like the cinematography the visuals are very clean the backdrop of like Jamaica going to on location places is really refreshing to see in these types of movies anyways I recommend checking this out if you haven't already if you do get around to checking it out let me know your thoughts in the comments below how did you feel about the movie do you feel the same as me it should have been a bit longer do you feel like we need to get like a mini series on Netflix sometime down the line because I, I definitely would love to see um, the earlier days of Bob and just him growing in that popularity and getting more in tune with like the music and the behind the scenes of how the inner workings of things worked or how he came about certain songs and developing them and yada 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 but yeah that's just my thoughts on this movie definitely one of the best so far of the year it's been a very slow movie year but it's it's gonna start to pick up in the next couple of weeks so yeah until next time i will see y'all in the next one peace